objective approach to science. It's the elements of love. And welcome to our host, Miss Stella Flay. <laughs> well, hello. What a relief to be out here. It's hotter backstage than a Bunsen burner. Must be all that chemistry going on. Now, people are always asking me, what is the secret of good chemistry? Why is it that some elements meet and there's no chemistry between them? And with others, bang, it's a love reaction. <laughs> what we need is to consult the love table. Gregory? Ah, the love table. Known to the less romantic as the periodic table of elements. To find out what it has in store for us, it's over to the queen of romance herself. Thank you, Gregory. <laughs> well, hello, boys, and welcome to all three of you gorgeous fellas. Ciao, oh, Stella. <laughs> now, let's start with you, number 11. Tell us who you are and where you come from. My name is Sodium. I live in the Upper West Side, you know, quite high up in Group 1. At number 11. Do you know it, Stella? Well, we all know that, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> don't the alkali metals live there? It's on the mean side of the table where all the rough lads hang out. <laughs> now, Sodium, a little bird tells me that you don't have any trouble with the ladies. Am I right? Hmm. Lots of women seem attracted to me, Stella. But they're only after one thing. My <laughs> earring. Ooh, is that an engagement ring? No, it's an electron ring. And I'm a saving it for the element of my dream. <laughs> so, tell us, Sodium, what do you do in your spare time? I love a water sports teller. This is Sodium having a fizzing time in water. He whizzes around, gets sizzling hot, and releases hydrogen. A reactive metal indeed. <laughs> well, we certainly hope you have a splashing time, Sodium. <laughs> Uh, crawling along to you, number 12. Tell the viewers who you are and where you're from. Stella, baby. Hi, the name's Magnesium. Oh. MG to my friends. Basically, I hang around in group two at number 12. And what sort of element are you looking for today? Well, the babes I dig for are usually found in group seven. They're kind of off the wall and highly reactive especially the ones at the top of the group <laughs> mind you i hear that you can be a bit hot-headed yourself in fact i've got a video here to prove it magnesium is on the spoon and oxygen is in the jar a truly wild and fiery union to make magnesium oxide Ooh, cracking hot. <laughs> and last but by no means least, welcome to the show number 13. Tell us what's your name and what do you do? My name's Aluminium, though most people call me Al. And I make planes, airplanes. <laughs> oh yes, of course you do, pet. <laughs> but that's not all you can do, is it? I also make drinking cans and cooking foil. Oh, where's saucepans? I <laughs> get that, girls. Wouldn't it be lovely to have a handyman in the kitchen? Where do you live, Al? I live at number 13, group 3. It's a big block with a real mixed crowd. A few metal boys and some pretty interesting non-metal girls. <laughs> <laughs> a new word for them. Interesting. Anyone in particular that you've been drawn to? I'm afraid to say, Stella, they're not exactly falling at my feet. I did once have a date. Oh. With a girl called Bromine. But I'm afraid she was a little too, shall we say, reactive. <laughs> <laughs> Chemistry or what? Mind you, she nearly ate you alive. So let's see if we can sort you out with someone a little more to your taste. So, good luck to all three boys. <laughs> So let's waste no more time and meet the lucky girl who's been listening to our three gorgeous blokes. Welcome to the show, Doreen Clory. <laughs> well, you look absolutely gorgeous and look at all those fabulous rings, but the vital one is missing. That's why I'm here today. So where do you live, love? Well, I live in a very nice area right next to the Noble Gases at number 17 in Group 7. Ooh, very posh. <laughs> now, excuse me for saying, but that's a very unusual outfit. Well, I wouldn't expect you to appreciate it, Stella. It's polyvinyl chloride, PVC to you. Anyway, I make most of my own clothes. You see, I have to, as I go through them so quickly. So I see. <laughs> oh, what? 
Hmm, that's a powerful perfume you're wearing. It smells of swimming pools. Oh, it ain't a perfume. It's my natural body odour. <laughs> now, you've been listening backstage to what the lads have said. What sort of metal of man are you looking for today? Well, Stella, I like my men lean and mean, but I need someone who can give me commitment, so I'm looking for a very special ring. Oh. Oh, yeah. And I like my men to be very romantic. But don't bother sending her flowers, lads. Take one red rose and a jar of chlorine, and what do you get? A bleach white rose for a bleached blonde babe. Well, I don't promise you romance, but I can promise you that we've got three lovely fellas to choose from. So, give us your question. Here goes. You probably wouldn't like me when I'm upset because I can kill a man at 40 paces without even touching him. Well, she's not joking either. And I certainly believe in expressing myself. What do you do to express yourself? And that question goes to number 11. If I need to work myself into a frenzy, there's nothing more exciting than a walk in the open air. As soon as I get close to oxygen, I'm fired up and are ready for anything. Here's another metal that likes to have a gas. Sodium burns in oxygen to make a very stable relationship of white sodium oxide. So, if you were to choose me, we could do a lot of mm, bonding together. <laughs> That's one way to air your feelings. The same question to number 12. Hello, baby. Well, I love to work out and when I'm really hot. <laughs> I like to slip into a sauna. The steam just gets to me and I glow with excitement. First, take magnesium ribbon. Apply heat and add steam. And what do you get out of this great glow? White powdery magnesium oxide. And the gas, hydrogen. And when you put a flame to it, it goes Baby, if I was to get the hats for you, I'd make sure we got real steamy together. Oh. How could you refuse an offer like that? And finally, the same question to number 13. Believe it or not, I'm a bit of a gar underneath it all. And if given the chance, I like to throw off all my clothes and really get back to nature. <laughs> I think we better run that video now. This is aluminium, dipped in acid, no reaction. Allow blue copper chloride solution to strip off the protective coat and dip it in acid again. This time, it fizzes with fun. Well, Doreen, you've heard their answers, so it's make your mind up time. But don't tell us just yet, because our Gregory's got to do his reminder. So, Doreen Chlorine, will you choose number 11, Sodium, who, despite being a rough, tough guy from Group 1, is a bit of a softy and promises to give you his all-important electron ring? Or will it be number 12, Magnesium? He definitely wants to get hot and steamy with you, so will he light your fire or just turn out to be another hothead? <laughs> or will you choose number 13, Aluminium? Unlucky for some, but he's keen to fly away with you, and after all, he is a knight in shining armour. Doreen, the choice is yours. <laughs> so, Doreen, put the boys out of their misery. <laughs> Which of them is it going to be? Well, I'm very drawn to number 12, but I think it's going to have to be number 11, oh. sodium. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about the two that you turned down? Now, there was number 13, and it was unlucky for him. Come and meet chlorine aluminium, love. <laughs> And you also turned down number 12, even though you said you were quite drawn to him, coming number 12. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> I still think that you made the right choice. Oh, well, what do you think? He's gorgeous. <laughs> and I think that we'd better bring in the lucky lad who you're fit for your date tonight, coming number 11. <laughs>
And here's a union made in heaven. This is hot sodium. When he bonds with chlorine, his bleach babe, they burn with passion and make sodium chloride. Love at first sight. Now that's what I call chemistry. I love it when that happens. See you after the break when our lad Lithium from Group 1 has to choose from one of these lovely elements. <laughs> Take lithium.